Hello, my name's Andy Rafael from eTechnics.com and today we're going to be looking at the BFG GeForce GTX 285 OCX graphics card. Included in the box is a PCI Express power connector, quick install guide with installation CD, DVI to VGA dongle, DVI to HDMI converter and SPDIF cable. Also included are two case badge stickers, a power supply leaflet, a leaflet which explains how to register the product and the fact that you have to do it within 30 days to activate the limited lifetime warranty. And you also get two A4 size leaflets, one which explains the HDMI adapter kit and one which explains how to install the product. It's a little supplement to go with the quick install guide and installation CD. Taking a look at the graphics card now, we can see that the whole graphics card is being encased with this heatsink. It's also got a fan over on the right hand side with a sticker on stating that it's the OCX version. Of course there are other versions of the GTX 285 including the normal OC. So this is one of the top spec ones in that series. On the heatsink it's branded with some computer graphics and also states it is the GeForce GTX 285 from BFG Tech. Looking at the underside of the graphics card, you can see that it sports this brown PCB. You can also see where the heatsink is connected with all of these screws located here. Talking about the graphics card's cooling in a little bit more detail, we already spoke a little bit about the fan which is here encompassing the OCX logo. At the side of the fan are these two ports here which will let out a little bit of the heat. It's also got ventilation holes here here and of course exhausting out of the case here. The full specifications of this particular graphics card are the fact that it has a core clock speed of 702 megahertz compared to the standard 648 megahertz. It has a shader clock of 1584 megahertz compared to the standard 1476. It has shader model 4.0 technology with a texture fill rate of 56.2 billion per second 240 processor cores with 1GB of GDDR3 memory operating at a speed of 2664 MHz compared to the standard 2484. It also has a 512-bit memory interface with a memory bandwidth speed of 170.5 GB per second. The bus type of this card is PCI Express 2.0 which of course is backward compatible with PCI Express. On the top of the card we can see that it has two connections here for the PCI Express power connectors. It also has a connector here for the SPDIF cable. Also on the top of the card we can see that it has the connections here for Tri-SLI. This graphics card, just like many others in the top end range, take up two slots on the back of your case. The connections on this particular graphics card are two dual link DVI I ports which of course support multiple monitors. This particular card does support HDMI and is HTCP compatible. With the dongle that it comes with, you can plug it simply into one of the DVI slots and output into HDMI. Just by having a quick scout around on the internet, one of the cheapest prices that we could find for this particular graphics card was $269.99. Hopefully from this review it's given you a better idea about Nvidia's top end cards such as the GTX 285 series that we've been looking at today. This particular one is from BFG and I've always trusted BFG as a manufacturer purely because they come with a fantastic warranty as well as having amazing customer service. You will find though when you compare the Nvidia GTX 285 series cards to the Radeon equivalent you will find that the Radeons actually come out quite a bit cheaper, sometimes 80 to 100 pounds cheaper. Um, which. If you are in the market and you do want quite a high-end card, unless you're prepared to spend a little bit more money or you cannot stand AMD-based cards and you really want an NVIDIA-based card, there's, there's not a massive reason to go for this one over a Radeon card. 
but it's entirely up to you. Because of the price issues, I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 stars.